Hi, English Nomad here, uh, Mike, and this is episode number 16, and in this episode I'm going to um, show you the roof of my pop-top camper that I'm building for the Land Cruiser. Now, as you can see, I've got a, a framework here, and this framework is essentially the um, structural parts and mechanism for the pop-top camper. I've uh, completed the fabrication of it and um, I just wanted to uh, show it off and show you guys um, what it looks like before, um, before it goes off to have some work done to it. So essentially what it is, it's the, uh, the framework that mounts on top of the um, camper body. Where it, so this is essentially a jig which um, replicates the dimensions of the camper body and I built the pop top frame on top of that um, and then the top portion here is the pop up section which will house <coughs> the roof panel which will sit in here um, and also on top of that there will be solar panels and a couple of ventilation fans and that kind of thing. So, um, so what I've done is I've set it all up, I've got the lifters installed, it's got the rubber seal already installed, all of the hardware is installed ready to go and um, at the moment you can see there's a couple of cam lock straps and these cam lock straps are being used to cinch it down um, because it's got a, a lift the mechanism that's lifting it up has got a lift of 160 kilos so in order to pull it down I needed something to, to do that and also popping it back up now I'll use the cam locks to uh, enable that to happen so, it's, so it, it goes up slowly and safely so I'll let out a little bit of, uh, a little bit of, of this uh, strap on each side and eventually it will come up and then it will be fully open. So uh, what I'll do is I'll open it up um, so that you can see what it looks like. So there's four of these um, cam lock clamps that clamp it down and ensure that I've got a good weather seal around, uh, around the top and bottom portion of the uh, pop top <clears throat> so now what I can do is I can let off a little bit of slack on each side now when these springs are compressed um, there's virtually no tension on them so I can let it off safely and what happens is as it starts to rise the amount of tension on the springs increases so the amount of lifting force increases from the bottom right up to the top of the stroke so when you let it off, I can let it off you'll see it doesn't spring up on its own <clears throat> and that's probably been done like that for safety so now I can just lift that up a little bit you can see now it's, start, it's, it's been held there under the tension of the springs and, I, and, and there's still not a lot of weight pushing up on it see I can still, I can still push it down quite easily without, uh, without any effort really at all so I'll just take a little bit off this one and pop it up again and then what I'll do is I will slowly let off a little bit of tension off each side and then eventually it will open up So obviously with the weight of the uh, roof panel and the solar panels and everything else that's going in here, that will create, um, that will mean there's less 
it's going to be more resistance on the springs so it shouldn't go up as violently once all the other items are fitted and typically most of the caravans and campers with pop tops have four of these on and I thought that was uh, the best way to do it as well <clears throat> you can see now as it goes up so I've got no tension on that side now as it goes up it goes up with a lot more force so and that's it that's the tension off so you can see straight away there's a rubber seal all the way around there which seals against this surface here within this this is a one extrusion there is a, a slot here this slot houses the um, tent fabric for the walls of the pop top and there's a corresponding slot in the top as well for the tent so this is going off to a company here in Perth who, uh, who make canvas products they make tents and awnings and that kind of thing they're going to make the, uh, the tent part of this so hopefully it'll be going off to have that done in, a, in about a week or two weeks they've booked it in for December so uh, so yes it'll be going off to get uh, the canvas made now in the canvas wall that will be all around here there'll be windows there'll be a window here and, a, a, and one one here and two in that side the windows will have um, fly mesh and we'll have a zip up um, window so that I can open the window on hot days and get a cool breeze through of ventilation without having the, the camper full of uh, insects and as I may have explained before my bed is going to be in this space here so you can see roughly how much room I'm going to have and I'm going to be sleeping across ways I'm only a short guy, I'm not, uh, I'm not a mountain of a man, so <clears throat> I should be able to sleep across the width of it, no problem at all with the bed that I'm putting in there. Um, what else? So, yeah, that's it. So, the extrusion was, uh, was, was really tricky to cut. Um, it's, a, it's a really peculiar shape extrusion. And just getting it to sit on my um, compound saw was uh, was problematic i had to fiddle around with it to get it to, to make all the cuts but in the end it worked out perfect um, the extrusion comes in lengths you've got to cut it to length and then you have these corners which make up the corner section and it, i've sikaflex used a product by sikaflex um, and then pop rivets to hold it together and um, the bottom is pretty much the same again it's just cut and then there's some pieces that get actually inserted into the extrusion and then riveted this will get a sealer applied to it on all of the corner joints um, just to ensure that water can't get in because this is essentially the top of the outside wall so when it rains the water will hit this and shouldn't be able to go inside the camper um, so uh, so yeah so that's uh, an explanation of the pop top that I've made this will be getting um, getting closed up and moved out into the garage over the weekend and then hopefully next week I'll uh, get it to the canvas manufacturers for them to make up the, uh, the tent um, on um, on other news, uh, this weekend we've got the four wheel drive show here in Perth, so I'm going to go along to that. I'm hoping to make a video of the four wheel drive show, maybe talk to a few of the vendors there, um, pick up some ideas on other stuff that I haven't yet resolved on the camper. Maybe uh, be able to pick some uh, some some items up while I'm there as well. There'll be a lot of um, Ex exhibition stands from all the major suppliers and uh, yeah I'll get some really good ideas from that so that's this weekend and uh, I may do a video also on one of my purchases I plan to make at the show so 
if I can get a really good deal on one of the items I'm, I've got an eye on at the moment, then uh, I'll do a review video for that product as well. But I'm not going to say what it is. I'll uh, I'll uh, wait and surprise everyone when the video gets uh, gets published. So, uh, what do you think about that? Um, please uh, like this video, share this video. We are growing this channel. Um, thank you to all the new subscribers, and thank you to everyone that's commented on my previous videos. Um, if you subscribe, please click the bell icon um, on what next to where you click to subscribe. That way you get the notifications every time I do a new video. And uh, please comment below. And until next time, Mike signing off.